Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we are looking at trying to help out beginners this week. Today we're looking at the backhand, just the basics of teaching a beginner how to hit a solid backhand, okay? We've got Mark here today, pretending Mark's not capable of hitting a decent backhand. So the first thing we gotta discuss with Mark is really how to hold the racket, all right? So if you guys ever hold the racket and pretend it's a hammer, and you got a nail up there and you're gonna hammer a nail, your dominant hand, I want it to stay in that position, which is what we would consider a continental grip. Be able to hammer a nail, and that right hand for me being dominant is continental. The left hand is going to go into the back of the grip where the palm of my left hand just kind of slams right into the back of the grip. That's a really good grip for a two-handed backhand, which is what I want pretty much every beginner out there trying to do, okay? So Mark, show me the hammer. Gonna hammer a nail up here, perfect. And then we're gonna take that left hand into the back of the grip, perfect. And you guys can see, when he's holding the racket in this position, his hands are comfortable, and you can see this nice square racket face. That's what we want all beginners to be able to feel when they get the racket delivered to the ball is a really square feeling of solid contact. That's gonna produce confidence going forward, okay? Now, getting going with how to set the racket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set Mark in a, in a square position, what we would say is a ready position in tennis, and this is, you know, exactly what we would discuss on the forehand side as well. Mark needs to constantly be waiting in a ready position where he could hit forehand or backhand. And therefore, in order to set the racket for his backhand, I want his first move to be that he turns his upper body towards me. So Mark, go ahead and turn towards me. Perfect. And as you guys can see, as, you, as the upper body rotates to the side, the racket naturally gets behind his body a little bit. Now, we're gonna take that one more step. I wanna see the tip of the racket pointing towards the back fence. So instead of leaving it on an angle, which I see a lot of beginner players do, let the racket release back just a little bit farther so that the tip of the racket is pointing directly behind him. The reason for that, I'm gonna kind of make the importance here. When you guys leave the, the racket off to the side here and contact's only gonna be right here, you guys are not gonna feel enough length in the swing as beginners to feel like the ball's gonna go anywhere. And that's why a lot of beginners will start to get kind of funky when they get to contact because they're trying to help the ball over. So as you guys get a little longer take back on the racket, the swing is gonna produce a more solid feel at contact now, something you guys will trust more, okay? So that's our take back position, Mark, I'm gonna freeze you there. Now this brings us into how to get the racket to the ball correctly. And the, the initiation of this is that Mark needs to step into this tennis ball with his right foot on a little bit of a diagonal. So Mark, go ahead and take your right foot, step on a slight diagonal, perfect. And now Mark has transferred his weight forward, which is gonna help the swing come from behind him to in front of him. Go ahead and release that back real quick, Mark. And what I wanna make you know, really clear, you guys, is that step needs to occur before Mark brings his racket to the ball. A lot of beginner players are so focused on hitting the ball, they know they're supposed to step in, but they wanna hit this thing so bad that they'll swing to it and now step mark, and it occurs afterwards, and now the weight transfer was inconsequential. So racket head back, shoulders are turned, go ahead and step in, and now swing the strings to the ball. Perfect. And we're looking for contact to be just out in front of Mark's right foot and pretty close to waist level. That's what we would consider our strike zone in tennis. So try to get that ball around waist level, a little bit in front of that right foot that we've just stepped into, and that's gonna produce a really solid feeling at contact. On to the follow through, which is gonna help deliver the ball deep into the court. The arms need to release up around the body and this is probably the biggest flaw I see with two-handed backhands at the beginner level 
is the move that we make from the ball up around the shoulder occurs without the shoulders continuing to turn open. Okay, so if Mark's arms just bent and bring the racket up and his upper body is still a little bit angled to the side, he's gonna hit a lot of shots high over that fence right there and it just drives beginners crazy and they're not understanding that it's too abrupt of a move from low to high where the arms did all the work. We want this upper body here to help us swing the racket. So from contact, Mark, start turning your chest towards me, towards, towards, and now in this position, Mark can let the arms drape over that back shoulder because the ball is already moving a little more streamlined straight ahead into the court, okay? So a lot of information there. Let's go ahead and drop Mark a couple balls and see if he can execute those couple points there. Mark, go ahead and take your racket back already. So he turns his body. He's gonna go ahead and step in. And notice, he's square to me at the end of the shot. His upper body did a really good job coming forward, which helps the racket go around. And we saw the ball move directly out into the other side of the court. Let's see it one more time. So the racket heads straight back. We step in. Good. Okay, so a lot of information there. I want you guys to really latch on to that finishing pose. Mark, go ahead and finish again real quick. If Mark forgets some of the things, if he forgets to turn his body back, if he forgets to point the racket head to the back fence, maybe forgets about the idea of stepping in. Those things happen to beginners. But if a, if a beginner player can really latch on to what they're supposed to look like at the end of a good stroke, which is upper body facing forward, weight to the right leg, racket head up over the shoulder, a lot of those other ideas will have, will have kind of carried themselves out pretty well, okay? So that's the two-handed backhand. Again, I would suggest that every beginner who's starting tennis start with a two-handed backhand. It's just really helpful in terms of control and being able to get a, a little significant amount of power without you guys feeling like you have to swing really hard. Go ahead and lock onto that two-hander that Mark was practicing. The more repetitions we get, the better it's gonna be, and we will advance quicker into the modern game, okay? So I hope that was really helpful for you guys. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.